Ta da! When I started doing pour over, there are a couple of names that I would say served as my um, guide to whom I learn from. <laughs> so, one is Tetsu Kasuya from Japan. Two is James Huffman from UK and three Lance Hendrick. I've already shown you the recipe from Tetsu Kasuya. I've already shown you a recipe from James Hoffman and today I'm gonna show you a recipe from Lance Hendrick. He calls this the ultimate pour over recipe. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a simplified version of Lance Hendrick's ultimate pour over recipe. So the concept of his recipe is to be able to use this recipe for all types of coffee beans. That's why he called it the ultimate pour over recipe. So the blooming phase should account for three times your dose. And then the second pour should be to complete the water ratio, which is 1 is to 17. And for the grind size, he used a coarse um, grind setting. So for the commandante, I'm thinking we should use 26 clicks. And then for the water temperature, I'm thinking we should do 93 degrees Celsius. Okay, so for today's um, coffee, we're gonna use the Sitio San Roque Small Bean Natural Arabica from Escolta Coffee Company. Um, I've been drinking this quite a while now and I'm very familiar with how it tastes. So if there is improvement or any um, slight change with how it tastes by using Lance Hendrick's recipe, I should know. Okay, so we're gonna weigh 15 grams 26 clicks on the Comandante. 93 degree water. For the first pour, we're gonna do 45 ml. Three times of our dose, which is 15 grams. And then we're gonna wait one minute and 30 seconds for the bloom. Also on the, on the blooming phase, before the water completely goes down, we're gonna introduce some excavation of the coffee bed. So, we're gonna start. Okay, I'm not sure if I did that correctly, but... <laughs> so the water went down pretty fast. Um, he also mentioned that it depends on your grinder. The, the drawdown will be fast and some grinders would be very slow because of the microfine particles. So with your Comandante, I don't think there is a lot of microfine particles because the drawdown was quite fast. Okay. At 1 minute and 30 seconds, we're gonna complete the water up to 255 ml. We're gonna see if it tastes any good. And then he mentioned that the final drawdown should be between 3 minutes and 4 minutes. So we finished at 2.40. So I'm not sure if I did the right thing. But we're gonna try first before we reset. I 
I think we need to go down a bit. Maybe, maybe we should do 23 clicks instead. Yeah, because the water drawdown is too fast. Okay. He said we should slow it down a little. Okay, so we're gonna do a reset and then do it again. Okay, so we did our reset. Um, just waiting for the water to go down. Um, I think this time we are closer to finishing the final drawdown between three minutes and four minutes. Nice. Okay. We finished at 327. We're gonna try. Ah. This is this is way better than this one. Okay. Um so the principle of Lance Hendricks recipe is um it it is very dependent on final drawdown, which is three minutes uh, which is between three minutes to four minutes and a long bloom phase normally blooming phases are around 45 seconds to one minute but his recipe calls for a minute to two minutes of blooming period so it's quite long okay and then to adjust the parameters for the temperature you should use the recommended temperature for light roast, medium roast, and dark roast. So if you're using dark roast coffee, um, your temperature should be around 80 to 85. And then for medium roast coffee, your temperature should be at around 90 to 95. And then for, for, the, for light roast coffees, you should use a boiling point water. Okay. And then, and at the same time, his recipe is dependent on the grinder because I'm using a Comandante, which does not produce a lot of microfine particles. The drawdown for coarse grind was too fast. So I needed to go down like around 23, which isn't coarse anymore. It's more of a, it's more of a medium coarse grind. Right, and at the same time, I, I, I needed to adjust my temperature to 95 degrees, which is a bit high for, which, which can cause over extraction. But this one right here is better than my first brew. So yeah, um, I would say even though, even though I used two, two poor methods in my experiments, um, it, it's, it, it's not the same parameters. <laughs> I would say the Lance Hendrick Ultimate Pour Over recipe is not for me. He might say that it's the recipe for all. No. <laughs> it's not. There is no one. There is no one single recipe that you can use for every coffee. Right? Remember that. There is no one recipe that you can use for all, all coffees, for every coffee, right? I get that he wants to do an, he wants to do an all, all around recipe, but yeah, for me, it can't be done. I would say that the Lance Hendrick Ultimate Pour Over recipe is not a recipe for all. But it's a nice baseline. It's a good baseline for you to start with. Again, I, I, I recommend my two, two poor method recipe for, for beginners. So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!